What's up guys, Plastic Beach X3 back here with the updated Print Kids deck profile. Uh, the format's changed a little bit since my, uh, I took my last deck to Locals. Our Locals haven't been able to play because of the virus and I've been playing a lot on DB so I thought I'd show you guys what Print Kids deck I'm going to be playing going into uh, the December format for 2020. <clears throat> so I also have some uh, main deck options uh, that I'm going to show off at the end, some uh, substitutes that you guys can put in because I haven't uh, taken this deck to any tournament, so I was just going to show you guys um, some other options that you guys could uh, start incorporating when you're testing. So I got some main deck and side deck options as well at the end of the video. Alright, so three Roxy. Three Fancy, three Dropsy, and three uh, Lampsy. So obviously the f the uh, four Print Kids, uh, three Nibiru, three Ash, uh, Gamma, and DD Crow for my hand traps. Um, so I took out Valor and Moonlit. Uh, I just don't think Valor is as good this format because um, these these cards are just better because they do more. Uh, Nibiru takes care of more monsters. Ash is more versatile. Gamma is a takes negates and destroys, and then DD Crow can hit. Is really good against uh, Virtual World and just uh, like any other deck, like essentially Prank Kids and every other deck in the format. Um, and it's super versatile in this deck because if you draw it off pranks, you can still use it and like imperm um, Which was the whole re reason we were playing chill in the first place uh, So those are the hand traps uh, For the prank hit spells pandemonium three uh, Three place there's a lot of people playing only two place Which I mean it's reasonable but I always just want to have a prank kit in hand, and this just boosts your odds by so much that... Uh, and, and it's just a good card to uh, chain block with, so... For right now, I'm going to keep playing three plays, but it's possible to cut it to two, because a lot of people have been. Uh, and then one pranks. Uh, I think it's just good at one because you, you, you search it in the first turn anyway. Um, so those are the prank kit spells. Uh, three talents for like extender cards, three talents called by and uh, instant fusion. And then um, just as a going second package, uh, one terraforming, and then this is a mystic supposed to be mystic mine. I don't have one, but one terraforming, one mystic mine. Uh, Mystic, I showed off in my last video, if you go on my channel, you can see uh, how to play, how to like put up a lot of damage and like essentially destroy your opponent's board under Mystic Mine in this deck with just one card. Um, it's really easy, uh, and Mystic Mine is just easy to play around in this deck and easy to get rid of because you do play uh, Palace, and then just one plan for the trap. A lot, some people play two plan, but... And I can see merit in it, um, but I think one is just better because you don't want a brick in this deck. All right, for this for the extra deck, two meow, two doodle, two bow wow, one pal or a uh, rip, and then uh, I took out uh, um, uh, anaconda for one nightmare unicorn because unicorn is just good, really good going second just to and then link off into access code right after it. Um, two rocket, one washer, two butler, and a toad. So that's the deck um, that I've been playing around with. But I also have some uh, main deck options here at the end. Um, some other things that I've seen people have been playing that I would, I mean, just to inform you guys on, uh, that I might test in the future, might not, but it's just things that I've seen other people on YouTube and uh, other people in general just have been playing. Um, a lot of people still play Thunder Dragon Fusion. Thunder Dragon Fusion is good, but it's only really good late game. 
because it doesn't get your pranks effects and you have to have all three either banished or uh, you have to have three uh, drop uh, lamp and fan either banished in the grave or in the, on the field so a lot of people are playing monster reborn as an extender which um it's good but when it, whenever you summon back your prank after they ash and link off in the doodle you're only getting doodles effect so i mean if you have another prank in your hand it's you're going to be able to extend but if you don't then it's you I mean you're just getting a uh you're just getting a doodle with an extender next turn which i mean is good enough but i think just stopping with uh this is like this would be like a called by in my deck so i think called by is just better uh a lot of people are playing desire three desires in this deck um it could be good i haven't tested it out you do play um you don't really care about banishing anything but also uh the deck is all just one card starters so if you just see one card starter you don't really want any more prank kids so desires might not be that good uh i think this this probably is the card that i would be at least citing and possibly thinking about putting it in the main uh, because it's so good this format uh cosmic hits all the virtual world spells and traps and banishes them so they can't get so they can't use their effects in the graveyard and uh, the Eldlick stuff um, hits Punishment, and then also uh, people are playing Ice Dragon's Prison this format a lot, and then also you can just hit, uh, you can stand by face, hit this, uh, hit Pandemonium in the Prank Kids Mirror, and they can't activate it because it can only be activated in the main phase, so it's pretty much a, it's a really good card against a lot of decks, and really versatile card. Uh, Valor, obvious, and Moonlit, obvious. Uh, you can play those... Uh, I would play Valor over Moonlit, probably, because it's just more versatile. Um, and then Imperm is a good card, obviously. I'm definitely going to be siding this card, but it is also main deck worthy. Um, I just think it's better to side because going second, just to make sure you don't draw it off pranks. And then uh, a lot of people are playing a third doodle. Um which could be good, like a lot of people in OCG are, but which could be good. I haven't tested it out, um, but I never really find myself making more than one or mo more than two or ever just needing the third. Be I mean, I make more than two all the time. It's just that you always put it back with pranks or a plan. So, um, and then Anaconda, which obviously I was playing before to send Thunder Dragon Fusion or Super Poly. Oh, shit. Um, and then here's some side deck options that I've, I've been looking at. Uh, Alpha is a really good card this format, I feel like, uh, just to get rid of problem cards, especially in this deck when uh, you, you just need your one card starter to go through, so you just want to get rid of whatever interruption is bothering you. Um, Super Poly is a good card for the mirror. Um... Game of Cell or just any kaiju is a good are good cards this format because, um, again, you're just trying to get rid of an interruption so your one card starter can get through. Lancia is good this format for Phantom Knights, Dinosaurs. Um, Duster, good option. Same reason as Cyclone. Um, and then I think Dark Ruler is probably the best side card for this format. Uh, I mean, in pranks at least, because you're just trying, you just need to turn off everything uh, and make your one card start to go through, essentially. I mean, it's that simple. Uh, so those were, that was my updated prank kids deck profile um, and some main deck and side options. Now, as usual, I'm going to show you guys a cool card that from my collection. Um, so here is a... DT Gishki Zalgigas. Now this isn't that cool because it's a just a it's like a five dollar DT, right? It's DT 07 dual terminal Gishki Zalgigas. Okay, but I also have two dual terminal DT 07 Gishki Zalgigas with no 
shatter foil. This is the shatter foil. This is the like the five dollar one. And I ordered these three all at the same time because I just wanted like a cool DT Gishki core and I got two uh, ones without any shatter foil. And I just, I figured these are misprints. So I'm marketing it up as a cool misprint. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe for uh, more videos, comment for, uh, what you like to see in the future, and uh, any suggestions in the Print Kids deck or any decks you would like to see. Uh, have a good day, guys.